Up next for San Antonio, they lost game two at home. Crucial to win here on the road. Round one of the NBA playoffs. On the way is game three of the Western Conference quarterfinals. This series all tied at one apiece. Tonight's winner, a chance to seize some momentum. Two NBA greats, Grant Hill and Steve Smith, our analysts tonight. With our reporter, Allie LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie, take it away. Hey, Brian, we've heard a lot of critique of some of the fouls that are called. Ask Warriors head coach Steve Kerr. He said, quote, we've gotten out of control, gifting offensive players the ability to jump three or four feet into a guy and draw a foul. It's not a basketball play. Give the defensive player some benefit of a doubt. Guys? All right, Alec, good stuff there. Makes a good point. And a look at the starters for the Spurs. And for the Nuggets. Taking a look at the Nuggets. This is a team that's in great position to take control of this series. Yeah, they've really positioned themselves very well in this first round. The fans will be urging them on tonight. And here's Anthony. Fades and shoots. Count it good.
The first good move in a long chess match between these coaching staffs. Strategy is going to be a big part of the outcome tonight. We'll see which team dictates the style of play. Now here's Parker. Pass to Thomas. From the high post. And it's blocked by Martin. And for the outside. Sends it home from three-point land. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. About a minute into this first quarter. Ooh, stolen by Smith. Pass to Billups. That one is off. San Antonio goes the other way with it. Parker outside. Here's Duncan. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. Almost two minutes into the first here. Pass to Billups. Five to shoot. No good there. Excellent D there from Parker. Here's Finley. To the inside. Tipped. And around two minutes played here in the first quarter. Parker defending. And Parker pulls it down. The Spurs have gone one of three from the floor. Pass to Duncan. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. throws good that's also good so he hits both free throws Here's Anthony. Well, if you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. It's tipped. Pass to Finley. Down low. Two points. That one goes. Sneaking inside, converting the high percentage look. Something Parker does well. Here's Anthony. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. Man, he's bringing the energy. The efficiency. I love what he's doing offensively. Here's Thomas. Pass to Ginobili. Parker with it. From 12 feet. Phillips with a rebound. The Nuggets have gone three of seven so far. Here's Smith. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. If you play JR for the jump shot, he's also capable of putting it on the floor and driving it right past you. Here's Parker. Drives to the hoop. And he banks in the layup. Parker's got his second basket of the game. Now you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. Here's Duncan. He's guarded by Anthony. 
13 feet out. Here's Thomas. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Allowing any room to operate, you know he's going to be aggressive. Time out, time now out. a timeout called by Denver. to Billups. Here's Martin. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. I mean, every time down the floor, this is what you're trying to do. Find the right matchup. Marker inside. He's against Martin. There's a whistle. That goes on Carmelo Anthony. That's his first foul. And we just got a second look there at an exceptional mobile one block. Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason. Chasing down blocks and making an impact. Pass to Finley. Here's Ginobili. Covered by Smith. Inside. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. the first strike the Nuggets have gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far they're 5 of 10 Anthony with it he's got 5 to the middle Martin perfect pass to set up the lay in oh another lead change 6 total in the first half and this is the battle we were hoping to see pass to Duncan here's Finley over to the left wing. And Smith over to help. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. They keep capturing the lead, then giving it back. We'll see if they can hold on to it this time. Both teams putting forth their best efforts right now. This is the kind of game fans pay to see. Here's Billups. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering it home like that. Now here's Parker. They trail by one. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Always looking for a way to create an opportunity. Parker catches the defender off balance. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdowns for Denver. They've gotten a lot of high-quality shots in the paint early on. That was clearly part of their game plan coming in. Another aspect of their game that's been super so far tonight is how they've been sharing the ball and piling up the assist. And he makes a first. Popovich has done a great job of developing Tony Parker's entire game, and you're seeing it right now at the free-throw line.
He's perfect from the line this time. Money from the strike. He does a great job night in and night out. Pass to Anthony. Here's Billups. Parker defending. Launches a three. Billups' shot is off. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. To the inside, Thomas. Blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. Thomas has got his second basket. He can really read the floor. Precision pass in rhythm. Now Anthony. He's got five. There's the drive. And he knocks it down. He's three of five now from the floor. And credit his teammates for feeding him all quarter. Pass to Duncan. Back to Parker. Count it. His third and five attempts. Terrific move by Tony. Not always the flashiest ball handler, but extremely effective. Now a timeout called by Denver. Denver has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Stolen! To the paint. No good. Now Denver takes it the other way. Pass to Anthony. Good! Anthony's got nine points. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Here's Ginobili. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Puts up the eight-footer. The bank shot, no good. And Denver shooting a phenomenal 60% on the first. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for San Antonio. One storyline that's shaping up is all the points they're getting at the foul line. They've gotten to the stripe repeatedly here in the first half. I love that attacking mindset. They've also had a good start tonight hitting the mid-range jumper. And he can't get the first one. Hill, he's checked in for San Antonio. on the second one. The Spurs have gotten seven of their first 12 shots to go. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And Hill very steady at the free throw line. Not the guy you want to give any cheap fouls against. one. George Hill, you know he's one of the more versatile guards we have in the game. He can defend ones or twos. One of those players who can fit in on any team in the league. Both good from the line that time. When you think about it, they're trailing in part because they're giving away too many trips to the charity strike. Pass to Smith. Goes back up. And that one barely misses as he draws contact. Two free throws coming up. Shooting two. First one at the line is good.
and that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And for San Antonio, they're shooting a terrific 58% to start the game. Excellent numbers. Here's Parker. And that's his fourth bucket of the game in seven attempts. This has been a tremendous quarter for him. Everything he puts up now looks like it's going in. Down low. McDice, good. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Parker against Carter. Parker inside. He gets it in there. Parker's got 12 points in the game. Continuing to stoke the fire. His shot making has been absolutely superb. It's Anthony on the take. To the wing on the left. Clock at six. The three, Smith sinks it from distance. Smith's got his second basket of the night. Deadly from beyond the arc. JR cannot be left alone. Carter against Parker. Outside, Hill. And they waste no time getting those three points back. He's got five. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. And the foul on the shot. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Man, good whistle there. Falls for him. He does not get the second one. San Antonio leading. Pass to Bonner. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Now Carter. Inside. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Petty play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one's off. And he sinks the second. Now here's Parker. He's got 12. There's a minute 54 left to play in the first quarter. The shot no good. Now Denver takes it the other way. A nice shot by Smith. Smith's got seven. A minute 37 left to play in the first. Parker against Carter. It's Parker on the attack. The rebound by Carter. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Well, that was clearly a foul.
He hits the second from the line. And we've got 118 left to play in the first. Turn around, Jay. Here's Bonner. No luck on that one. Now Denver takes it the other way. No question, this offense has some firepower. <laughs> and they're looking very confident in all that they're doing right now. Here's Ori. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Here's Parker. No good. He's shooting 5 for 12 so far. Denver has gone 2 of 3 from 3-point land so far. Carter finds Smith. Back to Carter. Rebounded by the Spurs. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. From the arc, Parker, and that's good. Parker's got 15 points. One of those nights where Parker has taken control, has a lot of confidence right now in this game. Smith no good. Outside, Hill. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer beater. Makes his selection just in time. Well done. And what I love, there was no panic on his part. That's the steady pulse you want in that situation. Good scoring in this one as we conclude the first quarter. It's the Spurs leading by four. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. Welcome back to our coverage of Game 3 on 2K Sports. All right, guys, before we move on, what do you think about the Spurs at this point? Well, I'll tell you what, throughout the first, they did a great job of just running their offense. Credit the game plan coming in. They've identified the right matchups, and the execution is there. San Antonio shooting has been great. 57% and finding ways to score consistently. against Carter now here's Hill the D's right on him pass to Bonner block at four and they'll get another chance Ori Smith with the rebound and for the Nuggets they're shooting 55% for the game so far on the court for San Antonio here in the second here's McDice checked by Hill McDice good He's got five. Good decision-making. Scopes the situation, puts the pass right on the mark. Parker inside. He's checked by Carter. That shot's good by Parker. And the Spurs lead by four. Carter against Parker. From seven feet. McDice, good. Here in the second quarter, a little over a minute of play. To the inside. Potter with the bucket. That's just good basketball. Can't ask for a better look. And here's Carter. To the middle. It's rebounded by Bonner. For San Antonio, they've gone two of four here in the second quarter. Ori. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. Carter on the wing. Parker defending. Back to Carter. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And that's just nasty right there, guys. He has a tremendous crossover. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. 
It may be a player's league, but the coaches obviously play a big part as well. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. The Spurs have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Here's Ginobili. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Pass to Carter. And he drives in. It's picked off. Now the Spurs moving it up the floor. Here's Hill. Misses from short range. Here's Martin. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. Here's Duncan. Hey, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. Nice dime to the open man. George Hill, more of a combo guard, making things happen right there. To the left wing. Unloads from 13. And it's Thomas with the rebound. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. Pass to Hill. Here's Duncan. Ten points for him. Left side, Hill. And from the field after that one, three for four now. Hill showing some deceptive strength in his wiry frame. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Soft touch off the glass. He's got six. The Spurs have gotten over 50% of their shots to go. Five for nine in the second. There's the three. The rebound by Carter. And here's Denver. Off with the layup. San Antonio has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Great job drawing the foul and almost converted the shot as well. First one at the line is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. The Nuggets shooting has been great. 57% and finding ways to score consistently from nine feet Anthony misses San Antonio leading pass to Finley can you believe that's their first turnover good ball security has really helped them build this lead in the first half you want to stay aggressive but you also want to be careful that is his second foul already now here's Carter the shot off that time Good work defensively by Hill. Pulls up at the elbow. Anthony grabs the board. I mean, he's staying aggressive, trying to regain his touch. But right now, he's hurting the team. 13 feet out. They grab their own miss. And it's rejected. They recover it. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw.
And the free throw, no good. For San Antonio, they've gotten five of their first 11 shots to fall here in the second quarter. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds to the Spurs as San Antonio retains possession. And San Antonio has possession. Four-point game. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Pass to Martin. Puts it up from 12. And that one goes. He's shooting five of nine in this one. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Now here's Hill. Nine points in the game. Shot clock at six. Fade away. Another miss. He's two for four. The Nuggets have gotten seven shots out of 14 attempts in the second quarter. Martin. Oh, can't tie it up as that one misses. And there's the drive. Unloads. San Antonio again missing. Just imagine if he was shooting better. The lead would be even bigger. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. Carter's gotten four this quarter. And very few teams rely on mid-range jumpers nowadays. But that's been their preferred way of finding points. Pass to Ginobili. Hill against Carter. Right wing. And the Spurs call time here. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh, keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. The home team on D. Hill with it. Nine points in the game. Just five on the clock. Spurs need to get one up here. Here's Duncan. And he wills that one in. Sinking it right through the back of the iron. Twelve points for him. I like this. I really do. He recognizes the mismatch. Simply rises up and fires. The turnaround jumper. It's hauled in by Hill. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. Uncovered. Ginobili, no good. Yeah, you have to knock those down. Open shots inside the arc are rare in this league. Carter inside. Pass to Billups. Takes the three. Drops in the three. And the Nuggets lead by one. Oh, man, this has been an absolute battle in the first half. Each team trying to establish itself. The lead just keeps going back and forth. Now here's Hill. Tries a 10-footer, and it's blocked by Martin. Now here's Carter. Defense is right there. goes on the lob. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Now here's Hill. He's got nine. That one falls. Hill's got 11. George Hill saw the opportunity got right to the cup. After the outside to the paint. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Pass to Duncan. Deflected! After the outside. Carter with it. Now Anthony. 
He's got 11. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Anthony. Smith, he's checked in for Carter. The Spurs making a switch here. And Anthony drops them both. San Antonio trailing here. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to stream together some shots to have any kind of chance. The quick release to get it off. Parker undeterred with a hand in his face. Here's Billups. The Spurs making their last shot. Pass to Anthony. Now Smith. Down low. Rebound San Antonio. Here's Bowen. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Baddest one, no good. Denver has gone three or four from distance in this game. Pass to Anthony. Back to Martin. Parker against Smith. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Parker. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. Now here's Smith. He's closely guarded. And it's Ginobili with a rebound. San Antonio's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. And the basket by Bowen. And Denver shooting a solid 50% throughout the second. Anthony with a bucket. Anthony's got six points in the quarter. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. There's 53 seconds left in the second period. Pass to Ginobili. Three-pointer. He drains that one after two misses. Now one for three. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Here's Billups. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. One team gains momentum, then the other storms back. Hey, if this is any indication of how the game is going to go, we're in for a treat. So both teams changing it up here. And that one misses. San Antonio has gone four of six from three-point range thus far. Pass to Ginobili. Puts one up from 19. The shot no good. Now Denver takes it the other way. Here's Billups. Oh, the teardrop falls in. He has seven. Coming off a scoreless first quarter, he's found a little rhythm here. Parker outside. The three. No luck on that one. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Leading by three. And we'll start. The 2K Sports Halftime Show.
looking at Denver. The first two games of this series were evenly split, and the first half of this game followed suit. They're still searching for that extra edge that'll give them the upper hand here in game three. It has become quite the series. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about this home team? Most of the damage they're doing is in the game. They've made a concerted effort to work the ball inside, create high percentage looks. And that could open up the perimeter for them in the second half, with the D worried about the post game. Shaq, what did you see from San Antonio? Well, they need to turn the heat up on D. Too often we saw them back on the hill, not dictating the pace. They allowed a shooting percentage in the high 50s. Remind me of my free throw percentage, the high 50s. Come on, guys. to have you with us again as we return to our coverage of round one. San Antonio shooting a solid 47%. And it's blocked by Martin. And for San Antonio. Now here's Smith. That one goes. Count it. Smith's got nine. J.R. Smith is strong and athletic enough to do damage inside. Pass to Duncan. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Anthony. The officials were right on top of that one. good on the free throw and the second free throw is good Denver has gone three or four from distance in this game up top Smith Shoots from 12, and he connects with a jumper. Smith's gotten four this quarter. And for a guy who makes his living from beyond the arc, that mid-range jumper must look like a layup to JR. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Here's Ginobili, and you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Impressive. I mean, challenging at the rim against length. You just have to love the aggressiveness. And let's forget the height disadvantage. He brings the effort, and he brings the energy. Free throw, no good. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. San Antonio with a rebound. Thomas has got five rebounds in the game. Parker with it. He's against Martin. That shot missing. Now Denver takes it the other way. To the middle. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. Shot is up. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. He's got nine. The Nuggets have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. And he takes that one up and powers it through. He put a little flare on that one. Yes, he did. Man, he's a strong finisher, huh? 
Here's Ginobili. Nine points in the game. Pass to Thomas. Here's Parker. Four on the clock. Pulls up. Anthony grabs the board. Anthony's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Billups. Parker defending. Let's a floater go. And Billups gets it to go. And it's an eight-point Denver lead. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Let's a three fly. Parker, no good. Hasn't been able to dial it in from distance. He has just the one three, and that was in the first half. Yep, that one's good. And talk about imposing your will. That's ten straight points in the paint. Parker outside. It's blocked. And they recover it. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. So it's the home team now. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest of the game. Here's Anthony. Here's Martin. That is now his seventh field goal in ten attempts. Impressive. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. And though Parker has stretched his game out to the three-point line, he remains at heart a mid-range shooter. Here's Anthony. Man, that one's good. Anthony's got four this quarter. He has no answer defensively inside. Pass to Duncan. That's his fourth foul of the evening. He needs to be careful now. Pick and choose where to be aggressive. The Spurs making a switch here. Hills checked in. Parker against Carter. With a step back. Got a hand on it. Pass to Martin. Fades back. The rebound by the Spurs. Hill with it. Here's Thomas. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That one on Anthony. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Nuggets? Contested shots and block shots. That's been their bread and butter defensively, giving up no easy looks. I'll tell you something else. The points they've scored on the fast break tonight have been a major factor. And he drops the first. Good on the second, so he makes them both. The Nuggets have gone 8 of 10 in the third and looking in control. To the left side wing. The 17-footer. That one a little long. San Antonio's gone 4 of 8 from 3. A nice percentage. Pass to Thomas. Here's Duncan. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. The Spurs making a switch here. Misses. 
and they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. The three, Smith. Oh, he drains it. His sixth make and nine tries so far. A guy who would rather spot up. JR is showing us he can pull up off the dribble. Pass to Duncan. Over Carter. San Antonio again missing. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Parker. Tipped away. Pass to Duncan. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Honestly, I don't know how he pulled that off. Denver has gone four or five from outside the arc in this one. Anthony up top. He's got 19. And no good. The Spurs have gotten five of 12 shots to drop in the third. Pass to Parker. Let's it go from deep. Smith with the rebound. Smith's got a rebound number five here tonight. If this quarter is any indication, he's not going to be the guy to turn this game around in their favor. Releases. They get the rebound. Duncan, no good. And for Denver, they're shooting a remarkable 60% clip. Very efficient. Anthony, the basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Free throw drops for Anthony. San Antonio has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it. The other allowing itself to be bullied. to Hill that shot off Ooh, excellent D there from Smith you like that he's still attacking but the results tonight just haven't been there Nick Dice good nine points in the game with the defense looking for JR to shoot it he makes the extra pass right there Parker inside Carter's there that shot's good by Parker. That's a move you won't see many guys make. Impressive stuff. Here's Carter. Excellent D there from Parker. San Antonio has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Pass to Battis one. The rebound by Carter. And for Denver, they're shooting a fantastic 57%. Inside. Ooh, nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. Carter's got his third bucket of the night. He seemed like he was never going to come back down to earth. He hung in the air forever. 
Here's Parker. Oh, what a finish in traffic! My goodness! Crafty move by Tony. Has a great feel for how to get his shot off in close quarters. Fires at the elbow. Carter can't get it to go. San Antonio shooting 35% in the third quarter. Here he goes. Potter with the bucket. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. And Denver shooting a remarkable 60% clip. Very efficient. After the outside. Here's Bowen. He's guarded by Anthony. Pass to Parker. Can't connect from short range. Here's McDice. Back to Carter. The putback doesn't go that time. San Antonio trailing here. Now here's Hill. Pass to Battiswin. Back to Hill. To the inside. Battiswin. No problem on the jumper in close. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Carter against Parker. An open look for Smith. Fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. Smith's got nine points now in the second half. In case anyone was wondering, this is what it looks like when you're in the zone. He hasn't missed one all quarter. Here's Bowen. Offline with a three. And they just continue to dominate the boards. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Oh, <laughs> unreal play to take on the contact and get it to go. So both teams making some changes here. San Antonio's got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Here's Parker. Perfection with the jumper from the elbow. Parker's got 27 points. And along the way, Tony really worked on making this jumper consistent. Now it's one of his better weapons. Smith outside. And he throws it down with one hand. And adds a few more points to their lead, showing off some style. Wow, that was prime time stuff right there. From 13, Parker, no good. Denver has gone four or five from outside the arc in this one. Pass to Smith. There's a minute 17 left in the third quarter. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Here's Ginobili. He's got nine. Here's Bonner. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Man, the defender really went after him. the first it's both from the stripe when your bigs can make free throws it's a huge advantage love his approach to get into the line here's Phillips driving inside it's rebounded by Bonner the Spurs shooting the ball at 43% from the field Pass to Hill. Inside. Here's Parker. It's deflected. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. High arcing shot. Got a piece of it. Here's Ginobili. Pulls it in from the elbow. He hits the back iron and sinks it. 11 points in the game.
this is the consistency he was looking for in the first half. Just took him a while to heat up. Hill against Smith. Launches a three. It doesn't go for him. And offensively, a great show for the fans through the first three quarters. It's been a fun game to watch. Up eight. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. All right, let's take a look at our assist to the game presented by State Farm. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. Thanks for joining us again for round one of the NBA playoffs. Out to the wing. Here's Billups. Checked by Hill. Pass to Smith. Five on the clock. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. Smith's got 11 points here in the second half. He doesn't need much room with a hand in his face. JR Steele drills it. All right, on the floor for San Antonio starting the fourth quarter. Here's Finley. through the D for the layup. Here's Billups. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. To the wing, right side. Whistle blows. Yep, that's going to be a travel. Wow, take care of the basketball. Something he did a great job of in the first half, but not so much here in the second. And the Spurs making a change here. And for the Spurs, they're shooting around 44%. Not bad. Here's Ginobili. Pass to Duncan. Here's Finley. Here's Duncan. Covered by Smith. And Smith over to help. From deep. Ginobili, no good. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. 4-3. The rebound by Duncan. San Antonio trailing here. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. It's gone by here in the fourth. Here's Billups. To the paint. Here's Martin. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Parker outside. Pass to Duncan. Here's Thomas. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. For 
Denver. They've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Pass to Smith. On the take. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Here's Finley. Offensive board. Thomas. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. down the first one. So one for two that time at the strike. Denver has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Pass to Smith. That shot off the mark. And the Spurs going the other way now. Here's Ginobili, covered by Smith. With the tip. Terrific energy time out, time at both out. ends to sustain this run. They've shown a lot of heart, a lot of fight, and they're close to taking the lead. Now a timeout called by Denver. It's time to talk this over and try to put a stop to this run. Because right now, it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Denver's coach was going over with his team. He seemed pleased with this team's performance, saying, quote, we're on track, we're doing everything right, keep it tight out there, and let's take back the lead in this series. Back to you. And Ali, thank you for that. JR with good size and explosiveness. When he attacks inside, he can get it done. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Spurs. Don't ignore what a good job they've done at the free throw line all game long. Don't forget about their points in the paint either. Those have been huge. The first one falls. You know how accurate JR is from three. That's how relatively inaccurate he can be from the line sometimes. So he gets them both. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. The Spurs have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Parker outside. And that's good from 17 feet. Parker's got 29 points. Credit the hard work coming back. They're doing their best to steal this game. They've done a great job, but they're not done yet. Here's Smith. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. As athletic as he is, JR doesn't average many free throws. Much more of a long-range bomber. That one misses. They aren't making anything at the line today. This is a team that struggles at the line. And he sinks the second. See, now he's getting defenders back on their heels a little bit. Getting to the foul line here in the second half. Up top, Parker. Pass to Duncan. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. It's the home team now. 
The lead is two. Here's Billups. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First free throw is good. He's perfect from the line this time. For San Antonio, they've gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. And great job to establish position and square up. Here's Billups. Parker defending. And Billups gets it to go. And the Nuggets lead by six. And with the defender right on him, nice step back. Pass to Duncan. Who poked away. And they're running. Parker defending. Finds the bottom from 13 feet out. And it's an eight-point Denver lead. He's got the height advantage in that matchup, and he's going to look to exploit it. Parker outside. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Pass to Parker. Here's Thomas. Six to shoot. No good. Had a chance to end the run there. to the outside here's Billups Parker defending back to Anthony the 15 footer and he gets the friendly roll as that one goes Anthony's got 24 they're going old school out there now working the mid-range part of the floor and the Spurs call time here oh you gotta like what Carmelo Anthony has done in this game with the amount of damage he's doing inside, a defensive adjustment must be made. And here's Parker. To the left side wing. Puts up a three. It falls. Five for 11 in the game. That's his second three-pointer of the night. One in each half. Trying to keep the defense honest. Going inside. Phillips. Count it. That's his sixth field goal in 12 tries. What an incredible ankle breaker to help create space for his shot. Pass to Duncan. The baseline J is on the way. And he hits the jumper. 23 points in the game. So it's the home team now. Here's Billups. Stole it away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. Here's Finley. Pass to Parker. Floats one up. And it's blocked by Martin. Down low. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul.
First free throw is good. He's off on the second. San Antonio's gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. To the middle. It's stolen away. Here's Billups. Parker defending. Pass to Anthony. Rebounded by the Spurs. You won't see him miss that one too many times. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. And that one good. And trying to put the game away, he's been nails all evening. And he's doing it by getting to his spots and making big shots. Here's the floater. Pass to Martin. Here's Finley. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Shooting two. First one falls. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. For Denver, they've gone seven for 11 so far in the fourth. Pass to Smith. Down low. Here's Thomas. The fadeaway. Smith with the rebound. Smith's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Anthony with it. Pass to Martin. Here's Billups. Here's Anthony. And it's Ginobili with the rebound. And he's going for the lob. Hey, great communication on the lob. Oh, what a pass. Those two read each other really well. Looks like a play they've definitely run in practice. Pass to Anthony. The shot won't fall. And the Spurs going the other way now. Here's Thomas. To the inside. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. And now just a two-point Denver lead. Now a timeout, timeout called by Denver. They've just committed too many fouls. While you don't want to give up easy looks, you also don't want to give away points. It's been a non-stop parade to the free throw line. Let's take a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Carmelo Anthony. This is special. We are witnessing a legendary performance here tonight. He is like levels above everyone else on the floor. Something must have clicked for him in warm-ups tonight. He's just come out and he has run wild. Here's Billups. Pass to Martin. They swipe it. Here's Duncan. Parker outside. Here's Duncan. With the drive. Snaps to Wayne. It's two on one. Here's Martin. And the finish on the break with the slam. 
And that could really be the game-changing moment. I agree. What a turn of events. That could be a four to five point turnaround. How quickly things change. Out to the right wing. Here's Thomas. And San Antonio again with a bucket. <laughs> Stepping up in the big moment. I mean, <laughs> an incredible job of finding his shot. Work in the mid-range, but you would think the defense would be keying on him. And there's the lob, and Anthony slams it in. A great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Inside, here's Duncan. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he'll sit the rest of this one out. He doesn't hit the first. That was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And he ends up making the second. And that narrows the lead down to just three. And by missing that free throw, now a three could even the score. Not ideal. Anthony with a bucket. <laughs> Good work getting free of the defense and finding his shot. San Antonio's going one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Pass to Thomas. That shot is off. Now Denver takes it the other way. Here's McDice. Again with the block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. Denver has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. 43 seconds left in the fourth. Phillips' shot is off. And so it's San Antonio with it. Trailing by five. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. Martin. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he'll sit the rest of this one out. He knows just how important these shots are, and he makes them count. This might be a turning point. Massive possession here. to the outside. Oh, gets the free to fall. fall. This three-point shot looks so pure. The defense allowing him to get comfortable out there. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. They're behind by five. 24 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Parker. Guarded closely. And it's good. What a beautiful shot. Brings him within three. Over the course of his illustrious career, Tony's become a big shot maker. You see it there. And they need to stop the clock, so there's the foul. Yeah, no, you had to do that. I mean, you can't allow them to dribble out the time. He drops the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. And so both free throws good. And it's a five-point game. Tremendous showing of confidence by getting those two to fall. And the Spurs call time here. They're trailing by five. 16 seconds left to play in the fourth. Guys, what do you think? Searching for a fast bucket. Then a way to stretch things out. And on a defensive end, they'll have to foul whomever gets the ball. No time left to be picky. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Parker. He connects! And he's brought them within two points now. You expect he's going to find a way to pull through in the clutch. And now they foul and stop the clock.
Oh, the first of two, no good. A heartbreaker. And he's able to hit the second one. And that makes it a three-point lead. There's 10 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. And looking to even the score with a huge three. This is where you want to run a play. Don't just walk it up and heave it. And so they get the victory here at home. And this is a critical win for them. They grab the lead in the series after splitting the first two games. Yeah, game three feels like a game seven if the series is tied. It has a huge impact. They're in the driver's seat now as long as they don't lose their focus. And that about wraps it up from here, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA's Western Conference quarterfinals. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Steve Smith, this is Brian Anderson with our 2K Sports crew signing off. And we'll see you next time.